Thank you, Lindsay. We were just talking on the desk here about mm -hmm. bears will eat pretty much anything. I didn't know that included car seats. No. <laughs> but apparently, <laughs> apparently it does. I think it's funny. Could you imagine that call to the insurance adjuster? Yeah. yeah explaining. Yeah. A bear ate my car. Listen, yeah. <laughs> a bear ate my car. A bear ate my car. Hey, they were here first, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Just don't true. feed them, right? Yeah, like, exactly. Not that he was, but I'm just saying. I've seen people feed them. What? Right. The, 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 and, and there's a big thing because we like to show photos of wildlife mm -hmm. on the news, but every time we show a photo of a bear eating off a of bird feeder, someone says, don't show those pictures because you're encouraging people to continue to oh. leave their bird feeders up. And, I, and we feel conflicted about it because mm. it is something happening in our state, but it's true. Yeah. Uh, all right, guys, it's, it's raining out there again. Yeah, it surprise, is breaking surprise. news. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we'll stay cloudy the next couple of days, another round of rain on Wednesday. Let's take a look at the radar. Actually, I wanted to talk a little bit first before we showed you the radar about one of the benefits of having rain, and it does help to wash a little bit of the pollen out of the air. We're still looking at moderate levels of tree pollen that were measured earlier today grass pollen low, mold spores low. That being said, I think when you're in a shower, it does help kind of take all of that pollen in the air and wash it down to the ground, at least temporarily. But tomorrow, even though it'll be mostly cloudy, we will see more of those levels likely continue to rise. Temperatures right now are in the 50s, for 40s right now in Bridgeport. Current wind speeds anywhere between 5 to 15 miles per hour. And here's what the radar looks like. And we'll zoom in and give you a little bit of a closer look. But you can see a few rounds of showers. Most of the steadiest rainfall right now in western Connecticut or the western half of Connecticut. And you can kind of see how this is progressing. It will likely slowly trudge east here with most of this rain occurring before midnight. After midnight, it's just cloudy and damp with areas of mist and fog. And that'll be the case as we head into the day tomorrow with temperatures right around 60 degrees. But tomorrow's mostly dry other than maybe a spot shower. So this is what it all looks like on the future satellite and radar. Some of those showers out there before midnight. We're going to start the day off tomorrow with a lot of clouds out there. And I think they struggle to break. This computer model saying, oh, maybe we'll try in western Connecticut. And if you do see sunshine, yay, consider a bonus but again overall it's a it's a mostly cloudy day heading into tuesday night later tuesday night and wednesday here comes the next round of showers and again it's not a washout but we'll at least see off and on rain through the course of your wednesday this is wednesday at three o'clock in the afternoon and wednesday at 8 p.m following that if you liked yesterday who didn't like yesterday it was so nice we get to do it again on thursday it's not the weekend, so obviously won't be as nice just kind of right out of the gate. Extra points for being the weekend on Sunday, but still a nice day overall. So Tuesday again going to be the pick of the week with highs up around 70 degrees. Now Friday and Saturday, we're still trying to figure out how close does this rain get to us? This computer model has it as close by as New York City. For now, we have the chance for showers in the forecast for Friday into Saturday morning, but there's a chance we might be able to take that out see temperatures climb a few degrees and have a drier end to the week. Either way, it looks like moms, it's going to be dry for you guys. Mother's Day with high temperatures in the mid 60s, guys.